Club. Just want to talk to you a little bit this afternoon about my new canoe Frontier 12 and the trolling motor that I have installed on this and also the propulsion system as it pertains to batteries, uh, battery selector switches, kill switches, and that type of thing. But we're going to go through these one by one so to give you an idea what uh, I found in my new canoe. Thank you. I have two batteries set up on my new canoe Frontier 12. The first one is an interstate Group 24 battery. It's a deep cycle battery. And on this one I also have a 50 amp circuit breaker. The second battery I have is a AGM type battery and it's a 35 amp hour rated battery. Also on the top here I have a battery selector switch and I can either select battery 1 which is the group 24 in the front of the boat or I can select battery number 2 which is this AMG battery at the rear and if I want both of them on at the same time I can select both and it also has an off position so it will turn off all the current to all the batteries. This will give you a little bit better idea of what the battery selector switch looks like. I purchased this at Walmart. I think it was under $20. This is my kill switch with the lanyard attached. Of course this will go up to your to your seat and hook on to your life vest, personal flotation device, etc. This is my 35 amp hour AGM battery which is located at the back of the new canoe. sitting in a battery box and here are the modifications that I made to the battery box. On the top left is a fuse holder. It holds a 3 amp fuse and in the center is your continuous duty 80 amp hour solenoid it's powered by a uh, coil and uh, I believe one of the fellows on the forum said that it draws about 250 milliamps which is not a lot and over on your bottom left here is your kill switch The way this is wired is when you have it in the off position, there is no current to the coil, therefore it has no battery drain. When you turn it to VAT1, the coil energizes and it supplies current through that battery to the trolling motor. If I push it, the, the switch to the next position, it will give, a, give you both batteries hooked in parallel. If I push it to the next position, it'll give you battery number two, which is this uh, AGM battery, 35 amp hour. This is my charger I use for charging my AGM battery. And it plugs in, it has a special plug that plugs right in and you hook it up to your battery terminals so you don't even have to take the cover off your battery which is pretty handy. Now I'd like to show you how the kill switch works in conjunction with the battery selector switch. Presently it's in the off position. The 
coil is not energized to the solenoid, therefore there's no drain on the battery. I move it to position one, which is battery number one, the 24 group battery up front. As you can see, the propeller is working. If I pull on this lanyard, it kills the motor. I move it to the next position, which is both batteries. It also kills it. I move it to the next position, which is battery number two, the AMG 35 amp hour. And that kills it. Turn it to the off position, and that kills all the power to the trolling motor. It also kills the power to the coil, so there's no drain on your batteries. And that's pretty much how the kill switch works. Um, I, I'm thankful to uh, Kent on the new canoe form. His uh, handle on there is Northwood, and uh, he was very helpful in giving me all the information I needed to develop the circuits for this uh, kill switch. And I think everyone should have one on their kayak that has a trolling motor. Well, that pretty well wraps it up for the kill switch for the trolling motor, the battery selector switch, etc. The only thing that I may add to this is uh, a couple of uh, voltmeters, one for each battery. And that would be nice so I know exactly where I'm at voltage-wise on each battery. Here again, the battery up front is a Group 24 deep cycle battery, interstate, and the battery at the back is a 35 amp hour AGM battery. I have a battery selector switch, which is wired in so I can switch from motor to motor like here too, or turn both of them off. I also have a kill switch with associated lanyard that you hook onto your personal flotation device. This is my new canoe, Frontier 12. Thanks for listening.